Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, and welcome to the convention. I am here with uh, John Harvey, Murphy, and we're going to do some puppy training. So when I start my sessions, I say, ready to train? Ready to train? And I get them a little excited. Some of the things we'll do here is getting the puppy acclimated to training sessions. He's been in our studio here a few times, and he's getting more used to it. Uh, and we start to do some of the things in puppy training to engage the dog. You see already he's excited and ready to go. So when I say, eyes, eyes, good, and he gets a treat. So eyes is the first time he's been introduced to that command, and I get him to give me his attention. Now, I have a couple different apparatuses we're going to work with Murphy today. Can you just come out, young man? Thank you. Get the camera's view. Let me make sure that's in there. So we brought a crate with us to work with Murphy. Yeah, I think we've got that. Let's see. Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's see. And we give it a command. Two plays. That's how the crate training begins, as easy as that. Sure, I'm luring him in with a treat. And we also use these treats. Good boy. So he starts to learn these commands. Here I'm luring or drawing into the heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Yes, good boy. Now realize this is a, a young puppy. This is a three-month-old Bouvier. So I'm not looking for a perfect completion of these drills. What I'm looking to do is establish a behavior and a pattern where I say, and he does, which is a byproduct that establishes the hierarchy of who's in charge. Murphy, two plays. Now watch. I'll explain in a moment. Okay, good boy, good boy, yes, good boy. So there, the first command I give the dog, and this is a great drill to do at home, I ask the pup to go to place, and we get enough repetitions, and he gets his tree, obviously, when he goes in, and two places simply to go on into his crate, kind of like that, and then he can come out on his own whenever he wants. The praise and the treat is just for going in. The second level of that drill, and I'll explain why we do it, goes like this. Good boy. Two places. And after he goes in, I kind of wait at the helm. Ah. And I might just give him a little hand signal like this. If he goes to come out, I'll go to close the door on him. And he's like, what the tarnation is going on here? And he learns to stand in there. Okay, good boy, good boy. He learns to stay in there until he gets that release command, which is okay. What that does is say it's a Sunday night, and I've got company coming over the house, and he's a little older now, Lots of times company will come in and the dog jumps over everybody and gets mud all on their nice clothes and somebody says, honey, put the dog away. He's being a pain in the butt. And that's a shame because we want to have the dog with us and with the company. I want to be able to say when the company comes in, hi, everybody, welcome to the house. Let me take care of this young man. And I say, the two-place command. When he goes in his place, I want to run into that place with no gate on the door and stay in there until I give him the release command to come on out. And that's what a drill like this that we're doing now will teach. Two plays. Good. So there you see I gave him his treat after he went in the box. That's another level of this same training. Initially, I throw the treat in and tell him to go to two plays. Once he gets the gist of it, I just point for him to go to two place, and then he gets the treat afterwards. Ultimately, obviously, he doesn't get any treat until the very end of the session. 
So that builds the dog's endurance. Here, at, here I can just at, I can do a verbal command at, or a closing of the door, where he gets the idea what this means. And ultimately, two place means stay in there until you get the okay command. Good boy, yes, good boy, yes. That's the way that drill works. So, there's a few stages to that game. And we call these games because we want to make it fun, we want to make it entertaining and enjoyable for the dog. The dog gets a hobby doing these drills. Oh yeah. And every time I bring him out, he's gonna say, Dad, let's do those games we do. Because he feels good and confident at them. Heel, good boy, heel, good boy, heel. Sit, yes, good boy. When I ask the dog to heel, I want him to walk nicely on my left hand side. This draws his attention to my leg and gets him into this position. Good boy, good boy. When I take his treat and go like this, sit, yes. Good boy. So there's a perfectly executed drill. I give him a hand signal and a verbal command to heal. Don't knock over my camera. <laughs> I haven't told him that trick yet. Uh, I give the hand signal and verbal to heal. I lure him into position and he heals wonderfully. When I take that very same treat and I lift it up, he goes into the sit position. I could just give him the treat and say good, but when I go like this and I break into a little jog and he runs to get the treat, I use a different word and I say, yes. And he starts to distinguish the difference between a good and a yes. That stuff I'll explain later. One is called a holding marker, good. I want him to keep doing that drill, good, good, good. When I say yes and I break into a jog and give him the treat, that's called a terminal marker, meaning that drill is done. Good boy, sit. Eyes, sit, eyes, good boy. Ultimately, that drill I'm doing there will take shape. When I ask for the dog's eyes, I want his attention right on my eyes and then I'll reward him for that. Uh, that's part of engagement. I want the dog, when I come out and say, ready to train, I want him to get excited, and I want him to come on over to me and know when I say ready to train, yippee, the fun's about to begin. Okay, good boy. So that's how long a training session would last. We work on a few drills. Oh, last thing. We're introducing this young man to leash training. Uh, today was his first experiences outside on his collar and leash. I want him to sit nicely as I put his leash on. Hey, buddy. That's a good boy. Yes, I don't want to make a big fuss of it. I get his leash, I clip it on. His first few experiences are I just put his collar on. He's a good boy. And when I put his collar on, I just want to let him walk around with it for five minutes. Uh, and then I take the collar off. And then I put the collar back on for five minutes and I take it off. When he first gets his leash on, we might go outside and I kind of let him walk me. What I'm doing in here is kind of distraction therapy. He's got his leash on. And I'm sort of teaching him to yield to leash pressure. And I do that again by using my treat and luring him in the direction of the leash. Very important with dog training is to choose my battles. Meaning I don't want to say, hey buddy, this is a leash. And let me show you from day one who's in charge here. And I'm going to make him go with the leash. Because I'm bigger and stronger than him. I want the leash to be enjoyable. I want the leash to be fun. Sit. Eyes. Good. Eyes. Eyes. Good. I don't want to mess up my video now in the last drill. Sit. Sit. Yes, good boy. And he gets his treat. Remember, the purpose of this drill was just to get him used to this leash and make it fun. Uh, I don't want to get into that tug of war where I'm pulling him one way and he wants to go the other way. So on an initial introduction like that to his leash, Good boy, good boy. I make it fun, I make it entertaining. I make sure I don't have any big struggles getting the leash on or taking the leash off. 
when I'm done with the training, all done, yay, all done. And we had a great time. It was short and sweet, kind of like a kindergarten class. They go a couple hours of play, a little bit of schooling, and then they want to go to school again the next day. Same idea with the puppies. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Murphy, you were a star, young man. Yeah. Obviously, that is unacceptable if a dog jumps. But instead of saying, hey, rah, 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 no need. I choose my arguments. This dog is not a jumper. If he's excited about his training sessions, I'm a happy camper. And that's basically what I want to be able to do. Right, young man? Now, if he put his paws on me, I would quickly say, ah! And I would stop that behavior. But he's just kind of jumping for joy. Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Murph, say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, bye, everybody. <laughs> and he didn't tip over my camera once. <laughs>